JetBrains just hosted their 2024 JavaScript Day conference, and during that, there was a talk by Jeremy from the Angular team where we saw some hypothetical new Angular component authoring formats. One in a functional style, one with an HTML-first style, and one with a CSS-like syntax. It's important to keep in mind that these are hypothetical. Jeremy jokes a bit about the CSS one, and I assume this one was included mostly to keep things a little lighthearted and highlight that these are indeed just ideas. But I think we can be pretty sure that the Angular team is moving toward changes to the component authoring syntax, at least in some significant capacity in the long term. It's something they have mentioned quite a lot, highlighted that it is something a lot of the community wants addressed in one form or another, and the Angular team knows how controversial touching the component authoring format is. And I don't think they are going to kick the beehive with some hypothetical formats just for fun. We've already talked about this second format quite a lot because it is more or less the same as what Analog is doing with the experimental component authoring format. And I've made it no secret that I like this format. I don't have a strong preference between these two hypotheticals, and of course we would need more details, but I do like this functional approach quite a lot and think potentially it might even be the better option. One of my main desires for the component authoring format is to remove as much boilerplate and friction as possible away from creating a new component, whilst maintaining the aspects of Angular that make it a great framework for building apps. One reason for this is just the new developer experience not just for newer developers, but also for the sake of first impressions on highly experienced devs checking out Angular for the first time. You never see a non-Angular dev look at Angular and say, okay, yeah, cool, this looks nice to use. It's always something like this. Is this what it requires to just get it? Is this what Angular looks like? Do you need that many files to have a button? Or this. You know, my, my experience of Angular is that it, it tends to be uh, very... <laughs> it's like safe to write yep. at the cost of verbosity. I think Jason's probably being polite here, but I would argue this doesn't have to be a case of trade-offs. I don't think Angular needs to trade verbosity for safe and well-architected code. I think Angular can reduce a lot of boilerplate with no important losses. I think these hypothetical alternatives to component authoring can still offer everything that makes Angular great whilst removing a ton of boilerplate and improving developer experience. The analog component authoring format is proof of this, I think. You can still do almost all of the Angular things you usually do with the current component authoring, just with a different syntax that has less boilerplate. And analog has the downside of having to ultimately be compatible with the current Angular component format. The Angular team themselves have much more flexibility to make changes, but also at the same time less flexibility because they also have a strong commitment to making sure things are backwards compatible and that people can migrate along with the changes. But you could argue that this new dev experience is more of a marketing consideration, making Angular look nicer and more appealing to attract more devs and maybe grow Angular's user base. But for those devs who are already used to Angular, maybe it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But if we take a look at the functional approach as an example, this does also greatly reduce the friction of creating new components, which, as well as just providing a nicer DX for creating components, it also potentially will lead to components being broken up into smaller and more modular pieces more often because it is easier to create new components. A common criticism I see, even for the analog style authoring format, is that it's basically just React, so why not just use React if that's what you want? But what we are seeing here isn't the same as React. One reason being that Angular is just fundamentally different to React no matter how similar the component authoring syntax looks. But also that this isn't even JSX or TSX. This function still returns an Angular template string. And even if we did end up going full JSX, React and Angular still have fundamentally different approaches and fundamentally different features. Obviously I've made my position pretty clear that I want to see changes to the component authoring syntax. Exactly what that ends up being I am very open to, whether it looks like one of these hypothetical examples or something else entirely. But please feel free to drop a comment with your thoughts or preferences, and of course if you feel so inclined, feel free to drop a like or subscribe before you go.